I managed to stay in several hotels during my time working in Belize and in this series of videos I show you some of the hotels you can book and stay in in Belize. Specifically in this final episode in San Pedro and Bagreski. My name is Mickey. Keep watching. Hello, Mickey here. Welcome to the channel where I share my experience of the places that I am working, which in this video is Belize in Central America. I've decided to show you some of the hotels that I've personally experienced in Belize, just to give you an idea for when you decide to visit. Which in this final part of the series is San Pedro and Bagreski. But before I continue, I would like to say if you are new and you like to share my experience or you'd like to know how to experience these places yourself, please consider subscribing and coming on my journey. Thank you very much. Sitting on the land where the first ever hotel on San Pedro and Bagreski once stood is the Ramon Village San Pedro Resort. Named after Mr. Ramon Nunes, the resort's legendary host and native of San Pedro, Ramon's village has been a product of rich history and hospitality culture. Not being a concrete condo, Ramon's village is styled after the Tahitian cottages of the Polynesian island of Bora Bora. Their cabanas are built from native materials by craftsmen utilizing the same skill and techniques the islanders used in the days of the great sailing ships. Ramon's village is a sanctuary nestled in a tropical garden of royal palms, lilies, hibiscus and dozens of other types of tropical flora. Surrounded by the plant life are Mayan sculptures that provide a glimpse of the civilization that preceded this Caribbean paradise. The Akabanes come in beachfront, seaside, jungle and Steve and Becky's, which is the sister property. Rooms however come in presidential, grand and mini, guests, honeymoon suites and more. Rooms when booked comes with countless resort amenities. There is a river themed swimming pool which is said to be the first swimming pool on San Pedro. The restaurant will allow these gorgeous ladies tell you about it. One word? About Ramon. Delicious. Delicious. Spectacular. <laughs> Highly recommend. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Craving for adventure? Why not start with Ramon Village Divers and other Belizean adventures both on the island and mainland Belize. Please visit ramons.com for details about amenities and prizes. Link will be at the video description for easy access. Located at the east of Ambagreski is the luxurious Victoria House Resort and Spa. Normally not crowded, Victoria House is perfect for couples looking to just get away from the hustle and bustle of San Pedro or a place to spend a perfect honeymoon. The selling point of this resort is the fact that the gorgeous beach is literally at your door, which provides a high sense of relaxation. Accommodation comes in suites, palermo rooms, state rooms, casitas and villas. With the advantage of being located right at the edge of one of the world's most stunning natural wonders, the Belize Barrier Reef, Victoria House offers a variety of breathtaking adventures. Booking comes with exclusive access to a wide range of resort amenities. Food served at the Pamea restaurant is of a high standard. For more information of prizes and amenities, please visit victoriahouse.com. Link will be at the video description for easy access. Mm -hmm. 
made up of over 200 charming cottages and villas, Mahogany Bay Resort and Beach Club is a unique four-star resort and village that offers exceptional arrays of amenities. Constructed on over 60 acres of land, there is room to socially distance and still enjoy your holidays. With an entire village at your disposal, all the ingredients required to enjoy a Caribbean holiday is readily available. There is a sushi bar, taco stands and cafes within the vicinity. You can also find a recreational center where you can do diving, fishing, snorkeling and other adventurous activities. There is the Bay Club which has been recorded as the biggest wooden structure in Belize which can be used for parties and wedding receptions. It also has a nice restaurant and an amazing sized pool. Some of the cottages also come with personal pool. At the west side of the island, there is a 7-acre stretch of beach only restricted to occupants of Mahogany Bay village. Accommodations come in garden cottages, lower and upper keeping suites, family cottages and many more. There are also investment opportunities for individuals to own one of these cottages. For more information, please visit mahoganibayvillage.com. Link will be at the video description for easy access. Directly opposite Mahogany Bay is a group of cabanas finished with fine cedar from Belizean jungle called the Royal Caribbean Resort. Featuring high wood ceiling, a living room, bedroom area, large ceiling fans, hot shower and private bathroom area and AC. Moderately priced, the selling point of Royal Caribbean is its location. Two minutes walk south of the resort is the South Beach Club, Cafe and Pub. It is located on the serene palm studded beaches of Ambagreski with easy access to roads, beaches, San Pedro town bars, restaurants, shopping and other amenities nearby. Being just over a mile south of San Pedro town, Royal Caribbean is far enough from the hustle and bustle to provide a truly peaceful setting on its own private beach. Food in the restaurant is of good standard, with a nice swimming pool adjacent to the beach. Please visit royalcaribbeanbelize.com for more information on amenities and prizes. Link will be at the video description for easy access. Though I never got a chance to stay in them, there are three additional beach resorts that you can also check out. Carib Island Resorts, Sunset Beach Resorts, and Corona Del Mar. I'll leave links to their website at the video description for easy access. There is one hotel in Kikoka, the sister island to Ambagris Key, that I would like to highlight. Iguana Reef Inn. I like this resort as it's got a luxury feel to it and it's close to a private beach. I've made a whole video about this resort and link will be at the video description. Please check it out and I think you might like it. Hello, Happy New Year. Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. I want to take this opportunity to wish you Happy New Year and to also extend my profound gratitude for your support in 2021. When I started this YouTube channel, I didn't think I was going to reach even 100 people, but I have been blessed enough with people like you who are kind enough to be my audience and 
I really appreciate it. Um, I want you to know that I am very thankful and I don't take you for granted. I've got a lot planned for 2022. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a like, uh, subscribe to come on my journey of experience. And thank you once again for watching. May God bless you and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.